Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are having poutine and turkey burger. My goodness, turkey burgers are always a really special treat. These are cranberry turkey burgers with spinach, my favorite. Um, let's uh, first let's get it in. Let's get the let's get our camera. And then this is our meal here. I'm so excited. I have my Tabasco, real Tabasco. Well, I mean, I have the habanero. I don't drink the regular, or I don't eat the regular one. It's too vinegary for me. We have some fruit punch here, lots of water, eco straw. Ooh, the water's flying. Oh, she's flying today. She's full. So good. Okay. Let's do it. Thumbnail. Alright. No thumbnail. Let's do a thumbnail with the protein. Mmm. Mmm. I made the gravy from scratch. Thank you so much for this food. Mm. Got some some iceberg lettuce here, a little bit of cabbage, and some um, carrots. Guys, I'm also too ordering all new equipment. So new mic, new um, stand, and new back leg, all that jazz. Even though the ones I have right now are really good, I'm just gonna get some more. Mm. But I wanna get a mic for my camera so I can get some better sound. Mm. Canadians love poutines. Such a Canadian thing. I think that's what it is, right? It's like a Quebec or Canadian thing. It's so tasty. Mmm. 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 I made the gravy nice and like thick. I don't like thin gravy. I don't do thin gravy. Mmm. So how are you guys doing today? I'm honestly not feeling the best. I'm still kind of under the weather. I don't know what it is. I just have this like splitting headache. I love this hot sauce. So let's put some on. I would really recommend you guys try the habanero hot. It's so good. And it's hot. Like it's not vinegary and like this is it here. You have to really look around for it, but if you ever see it in stores, grab it, okay? I really recommend it. Mmm. 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 Brioche bun. Cranberry. Turkey. Lettuce. I didn't put any tomato, I don't like tomato. Mmm, that's so good. Um, mayo, mustard, and a little bit of pickle. Mmm, that's so good. With that hot sauce, oh. So good. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm literally trying to... I'm literally trying to run my business. We're we'll starting YouTube, start a podcast. Oh. And by the way, I am starting, well, I've already started it. Um, it'll be coming out, so I'll link it all down below.
been very reported. A few episodes. I think we're on episode five now. But we are about to come out with our first episode. And it's about essentially the steps of like alcoholism. Um you know, kind of my journey and how I can help other people that are going through the same situation. I'll be three years sober this year. I'm sorry, but the turkey burger is on point. And so is chicken. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. It needs more hot sauce though. Mm, that lettuce just literally tastes like. Mm. Because I used to work in a restaurant my whole life. Cooking is like one of my major passions. I love to cook. But I just couldn't deal with the stress of working in a restaurant. Because I worked back end. So I worked back end and front end. So I did maybe about five years of management. Front end management. Serving all that jazz. And then um, I did uh, about eight. About eight eight-ish years. I don't know, like almost eight years, I think. Mm. But I was just like strict cook. Actually, no, I think it's more broken down more. More like half and half. But regardless, cooking is like my passion. I love it. Guys, this is everything. I love to cook. It's like just so much. I love to make people happy. I love to experiment. Remember? Mm. Mm. I just lost for words right now because it's so good. I literally lost for words. That hot sauce is so good. It's so good. I'm really, really not feeling that well today, so. Mm. Bear with me, guys. I also really recommend getting a soft brioche bun. Buns make everything, all the difference. Splurge and go for the little bit more expensive bun. It's so much worth it. So good. So tasty. I need to put more of this on. I'm so thirsty today. Do you know what I think it is? I think I'm just like super dehydrated. Because I'm not feeling that well. <clears throat> The hot sauce is everything. Anyways. Working in the restaurant industry just brought a lot and a lot, a lot of stress for me. I mean, I handled it for so long that it kind of made me a little like 
dealing with the public is very, very hard work. Like, very hard work. Okay, people? So anyone that's out there dealing with the public, kudos to you. And I know that, like, most people deal with the public and, like, but it's a lot different, like, say, if you're, like, I don't know, I don't want to compare, but when people are, say, for instance, angry, excuse me, it's a little different than just being angry. Do you know what I mean? When someone's had a rough day, and then they come out to eat somewhere, and they find that, like, something's not okay, and, you know, they take it out on you. They take that shit out on you. And it's not fun and it's not nice. Like we went out for my dad's birthday. The nachos were really bad. They were so bad. You should check that out, guys. The nachos were so bad. My little brother and sister, like, we were there later in the night, and we were looking at the menus for so long. My brother and sister don't know what they want. My brother and sister, too, are, like, from the Philippines, so sometimes it's a little hard for them to, like, pick something, because they everything kind of tastes different in the Philippines than it does in Canada. So my dad just brought everybody over from the Philippines to Canada. Anyways, besides the point, that's another vlog. I'll get to that. That could be another story time. I bought my, my little brother and my little sister. Anyways, besides the point. We're looking at the menu for so long. Finally, she comes back, she takes her work. She, you know how they come and they're like, okay. How's everything going? How's the menu looking? You have your questions, drink orders, all that jazz. Fair enough, right? We finally are ready to order, and we're all ordering. And she goes, um, I think my my little brother didn't want something. And she was just like, oh, we have a kid's menu. Do you want to look at that? And my dad was like, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> my dad's such a chill guy, like, he didn't care at all. But for me, I was like, is this chick serious? Because I was in the industry, I've been in the industry, so it's like, I've always given people great service. If there's a child at the table, like, offer a child menu or a kid's menu. Why would they be ordering off the adult menu? I, I wouldn't get that. I don't get that. But it's just, like, you never know what her day could have been. She could have been having a really rough day. And that was just, like, more like her last table. And, like, you just never know. So never be disrespectful. Never be rude to anybody. But to me, I would say it's up to them. Okay. No kid's menus? Okay. Damn, girl. Sis. Ooh. Okay. I didn't say anything though. You're not gonna go like attack the person or anything. Just. Mm. But like. Little things like that, people would be pissed off. But my family doesn't care because, like, we're not mad about anything. We don't be mad. But it's just those little things that I noticed, you know? Like, I also asked for. We ordered a giant nachos, like a large nachos. And I was sharing the nachos. But besides the point, ordered it with no black olives. Is it weird that black olives are on nachos? Because I find that weird. I don't know. Do olives go on nachos? I don't know. Do they? I think they do. I don't know. I'm confused about that. Let me know down below if people nachos. I was... The restaurant that I worked in was a Greek-style restaurant on the beach. And we had Greek-style nachos. And then they had olives on them for that reason because they were Greek-style. So I don't get how regular nachos have that. That's why I'm confused. I don't know. Besides the point... These nachos were so dry, they were so bad, but besides the point on top of that, 
is I ordered it with no black olives. And she goes, oh, is it the allergy? I go, well, I need no black olives. And can I just get the green onion on the side? Because I like to take green onion and put it onto my, not like specifically onto my nacho. I know I'm extra like that, I'm so extra. Guys, I always like to save the middle part for last because it's the best part of the meal. Mm. Mm. Mmm, fresh turkey burgers, oh, so good. Cranberry, spinach. We went to the local market. Get the fresh foods in my gut. They have the best stuff. Everything is just so expensive there though, because it's all fresh. But anyways, that's the point. The nachos came. But with no black olives, because like we asked, and no green onion. I asked for the green onion on the side. I didn't say anything though. And she didn't write down any of the order. She wrote down no order. She wrote down none of the order. So that there, I have a pen and paper. Why don't I just write the order? It's a table of like, there's like eight of us. Like just write the thing, write it down. I'm not gonna say anything though. I'm not gonna say anything. Didn't get my green onion, oh well. Should I have said something? I'm not complaining about it, I'm just saying. If you wrote it down, then it, would have been, it wouldn't have been an issue. You know what I mean? Like the server, she didn't give us a drink. She didn't give us drink menus, one. I forgot to mention that too. And to oh, actually no, she did give us drink menus. Never mind, I apologize. I'm sorry, she did give us drink menus. That's don't I don't wanna throw anything extra that doesn't need to be thrown in there. She didn't give us drink menus, but she forgot the kids' menus. Um <clears throat> she forgot the green onion. And you know when like someone it's a big table when you're taking a specific order. Do you ever get that feeling like, is this person gonna remember this? Do you ever get that feeling? Like you're saying so many things, there's so many mods. Is this person gonna remember this? You're thinking this. That's when you know the person is gonna remember this. But you think that the server, like the server would, sorry guys, that's my automatic clean there. It's rare. I think the server though, would write it down. No. Nope, 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 nope. Anyways guys, <clears throat> that was absolutely delicious. I'm done, like, it's a done deal. Poutine. Who doesn't love a good poutine? Turkey burger, I really recommend you guys go get them fresh. They're delicious. I can't wait till all my camera stuff comes. So I'm gonna order it tonight and in a couple of weeks, I should have a new mic so you guys can hear a little bit more. So it's not necessarily gonna be ASMR, but it's gonna be a lot more in depth. You're gonna be able to hear me a lot better. So yeah, thanks for joining me guys. I mean, oh, I'm chilly. I have the chills. Oh, uh, guys, I don't know if you can see that. Wait, hold on. I don't know. Can you guys see those chills? I'm probably not close enough. The camera's so far away. I'm chilly. I'm just shaking. My arm, my little teeny arms are so skinny. Anyways, guys. It's freezing in here. It's probably the polar bear. That's why we have the polar bear. Paper straws. I'm getting used to them now. I don't mind them at all. To change from the plastic. My plastic straws are like still plastic straws. And like metal straws are still metal straws. Like yeah, we're using reusing them, but they're still plastic. And I don't understand that. Shouldn't they shouldn't they be decomposable straws? Cause like what if a straw breaks? Well, where does that go? Oh wait, you can recycle plastic. So you put it in the recycling bin. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Just pretend that didn't happen, guys. All right, bye. Subscribe if you like. Bye. Oh, I'm still here, guys.